let me show you some of the things that Polo and I are doing after we have our PSNs and our network segmented. Remember that from previous videos, our IoTs are in the LAN and our secure devices are on their OPT, right? So let's actually start by going into the admin tab and show you that we went into the network hierarchy and added those two segments. The dot one is the insecure or IoT and the dot two is the OPT. Once we've done that, by virtue of the DHCP logs that we are getting, we can actually go into the asset database and we can do a search by network. So we can add a filter here and say search by network. And this is a representation of the network hierarchy. As you saw before, we go here and say, well, let me show the insecure devices. And here we have them. And here we, we see the asset name that has been gotten from the from the DACP and some of the things that we can actually do so let's, let's say that we I want to know where this uh, ring camera uh, is actually talking to I can right click on it and under information I can search for events or logs on flows. Let's actually search on the flows. And remember, there's a video that shows how you add flows to from PSMs to be sent to curators. Very easy. So let's say that we're going to be doing uh, recently last, uh, I don't know, 24 hours. We click here, search. And here we have all those, all the communication from that camera. And we can actually go here and sort this geographically to see which countries is this actually going. And we can see that all the traffic has been in within the United States, the bulk of it, and a few within the same land. So this is probably the ring camera talking to the controller or the cameras, you know. So I'm cool. I know that my ring cameras are not talking to China or any other strange country. So I can go into the network activity and there are some searches that Curator already has and I modify them and that's why they start here with a underscore is because as you'll see when I display those I remove the column source IP and destination IP because I don't want to reveal my IP here at home we can actually go here and this one is using NTP there. Hmm, on port 23, what are those? We can actually click on those and see that you can click on any one of these IPs, okay, and actually use the plugin or more options, plugin XForce and get a reputation for this particular IP to see if something is malicious or not. And X-Force is saying you are, this is nothing suspicious on this one. It's good to know. So let's actually click here on the network activity again. And we're going to use the search that I also modified to remove the source IP and destination IP. So let's say that we want to check this uh, this ones in South or Korea. So, so we have those in here. Again, this is my IP here at home that I want to reveal. And if we look at this one, which I've seen before, and do plugin option Xforce lookup, the Xforce comes back telling, well, this is an a scanning IP, this is not a good one. But we are kind of cool because notice the destination package, this is something trying to contact us, but the firewall rules deny the traffic. 
let's actually do something similar with the logs. If we go here on the logs, and again, all these filters are for avoiding to reveal my home IP address. So we have one of the searches that Polo did here is this one, LAN IoT clear text. And what we can see here is that the main thing here is that the event name is not TCP underscore tunnel, which reveal that is done over SSL and therefore it's, uh, it's uh, protected and unencrypted. And notice that this is saying that the log type is a squid proxy log because this is precisely uh, the, the logs that come from the from the proxy. If we go back here say seven days we can actually see that there's some traffic especially when they seen some uh, are initiating that go over standard HTTP and we can actually even see it here and then probably the, most of them probably switch to SSL later. Again nothing to be worry about it but you can actually don't have to trust this you can actually check those things in your home network let's see a last search let's use the DNS logs this DNS request let's actually expand the time for you know seven days this is at the DNS where my where's my traffic where are all my devices actually going from home and these are all the devices but if you want to see for example one of those uh, ring cameras where it's actually going to where are the DNS requests that it's actually doing all you have to do is add a filter filter is going to be source IP this is the parameter we're going to put the IP of that camera 192.168.1.139 we add that filter and we see that the only domain that that camera is actually going is es.ring.com good ultimately you want to go here on their offenses refresh the screen and you know it should be clean as a whistle there should not be anything happening there but actually this is not the way that is always had been in my network this is actually an offense that I got at one point in which I thought that my one of the VMware images that I'm, I was working with was actually clean as a whistle and it wasn't I and this offense actually fire and this is part of the sysmon package that adds that level of visibility and I went and cleaned that machine this is another example with another of the VMs and the last example is one of the internal IPs from the LAN, the insecure, was talking or attempting to talk using NTP protocol with an address that is known to be an anonymizer and Curator picked that up and an offense fire. Also Polo found some more interesting things and we're going to be sharing some of this if you're watching this today. Uh, we are going to be running a live webinar where Polo and I will be showing some of the things that we have done here with the combination of the free curator CE and BF Sense, and there will be time to do live questions. You can also click on the link that is on the description here to either register, or if you do are not watching this on September the 6th, you can actually click on the link and watch the recording.